Well, hello there. Fancy meeting you. Hello, I'm Harry Beamish uh, and I work for the National Trust. Uh, I studied archaeology at Exeter University and my role with the Trust has been a regional archaeologist for many years uh, but I'm now archaeologist project support. Well we've always said um, that the work really was the, the stewardship of the archaeology on the, the National Trust properties wherever we were working. Uh, I started in the West Country as a support to a, an MSc project like so many people the good old MSc programme got us into the career in the first place uh, and on the back of that we did a lot of um, field survey and measured survey of earthworks uh, right around Devon and Cornwall um, and then I came up to the Midlands region as part of a, a national survey programme which was basically doing a, a rapid survey assessment of all the properties on a, a sort of rolling basis uh, and that lasted for about three years and they then decided that they had the funding to try and set up an archaeologist in each of the National Trust regions um, and obviously we then became slightly more static uh, and didn't have to be so peripatetic um, and we were able to sort of get more involved with things like practical conservation of the field archaeology on the properties and obviously get to know the property people in the region better uh, and that's really been the role. I came up to the North East in 1988 in the old, what we call the, the Northumbria region, which was Northumberland, Durham and Tyne and Weir. Uh, and since then we've had an amalgamation of regions in 2002. Uh, and I guess from really that period onwards the role has been increasingly, um, I suppose, desk and meeting room based. Uh, and we've been basically running contracts, survey contracts and uh, um, dealing with development control issues more than the original role which was really going around doing the, the initial look at what was on the properties um, and beginning to sort of develop a, a site and monuments record and so on. Um, so it's, it's been a, a long and interesting progression. I suppose the fact that we're, we're based in one place and we're, we've, we've become more familiar with the archaeology um, and the, the people that are charged with looking after it on the, the properties, um, it is different than the original relationship where I think when we first came to the East Midlands region we were treated with grave suspicion because they thought it was something to do with the time and motion study which didn't help relations with the regional stuff. But um, we've always tended to, be, um, to get involved in working with volunteers um, and sort of moving beyond the, the nine to five um, office survey task, if you like, um, and going out at weekends and doing bits of field walking and um, clearing scrub from earthworks and that sort of thing. And I suppose working with the trust, you know, that's that's part of the deal in a way. Um, that you know, it, it is a big conservation body, and um, we rely hugely on volunteer input really for all sorts of things but not least from the archaeology point of view, you know, the, the care and maintenance of the archaeological estate if you like. I suppose really it's been um, that you're in a position to, to tell people about um, different landscapes. So, you know, we're, we're very fortunate that we, we have the um, amazing sort of scope to be allowed to dig into why things are where they are in the landscape and then um, again, a lot of the work, particularly with the Trust, is, is sort of getting that message across to um, members, visitors, our own staff, um, the wider archaeological community, if you like. Um, so it's transferring that knowledge that we've gained from the, the, the study that we've made, if you like, um, through to um, the, the, the folk who come and use the properties in whatever way. And that's, you know, we, we've always done walks and talks again as a sort of bolt-on to the the, the core day-to-day um, -day business of the, the job, if you like. Well, I suppose the big one that we're all sort of waiting to see what um, is going to transpire is the, the changes to the planning um, guidance uh, nationally, and we're all slightly uncertain, you know, with the old planning policy guidance for buildings and archaeology disappearing, uh, what comes out of the, the current review um, and, and the, the national um, guidance framework 
and also, you know, with the reduction in local government staffing, um, we're probably going to be faced with a lot less support from colleagues in local government, which we've enjoyed, and indeed possibly from English Heritage if they're reducing things like their own um, survey teams uh, and changing the emphasis of the way that they work. You know, we've worked very closely, particularly with English Heritage over the years, um, and they've been hugely helpful um, in sort of bolstering our limited resource, um, both on architectural survey and uh, archaeological survey. Mm. So it's a, it's a time of great change, yes. Well, I would say go for it. It's, it's been, uh, I've been so lucky because I've had about a quarter of a century of um, being, a, being paid to do my hobby effectively, uh, and there's not a lot of folk, you know, who have, it's been a real privilege, you know, to be able to do that. Um, and it's such a broad subject that, um, you know, it's almost limitless, and, you know, you'll have a lifetime of interest whether it's paid or not. Um, you know, there's, there's just a, such a huge spectrum of things that you can get involved with. Um, so, go for it. Now, sadly, this is, this is where I fall at the last fence because I have never seen an Indiana Jones film. Shock horror from the other side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we were debating this yesterday over lunch in a little tea room in County Durham as I was doing handover visits. And uh, the waitress came over and said that she thought that the first one was the best. So. Which is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? No. <laughs> so. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. So. <laughs> A pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.